welcome and thank you for taking the time to join us for the Tree Insights Roadmap session at Connect 2021. My name is Arno van Eindelten and I'm the product manager for Tree Insights. In this session, I re will review the highlights of our last release, Tree Insights 9.5, and we will hear from Greg Gutman about marketplace trends and how our customers are utilizing Tree in amazing ways to provide engaging experiences for their end users. After that, I will provide an overview of the Trade Insights Roadmap. Let's start with the Trade Insights 9.5 highlights. Trade Insights 9.5 introduces a completely redesigned user interface in close collaboration with existing customers, partners, community IDs, and other com community contributions. Focus for this first release of the experience space user interface is on, on editorial experience. The day-to-day -day tasks an editor needs to be able to complete. We spend a huge amount of time to set a new standard for usability here. Also, a lot of the UI extensions that were developed to overcome shortcomings of the CME have been implemented as a standard feature in experience space. The Tridian integration framework is a feature that unleashes your enterprise content that is locked up in other repositories. It standardizes the way Tridian integrates with other technology tools in the customer's IT landscape to help build, us build smarter experiences across channels and touch points. Information from systems such as SharePoint, Vimeo, a PIM or DAM system, or any other external content repository can be exposed inside the Trade Insights user interface as if it was natively stored content. You can apply metadata, blueprinting, workflow, and any other unique Trade In features and publish it as part of a page or other digital experience. You can imagine how much easier this makes it to tap into third party repositories and publish that content onto your sites. Very much related to the integration framework is our continuously expanding connector ecosystem. As you can see, we have an exciting list of connectors that are now available. A Primo for digital asset management, and soon also the Primo marketing resource management functionality will become available. Salesforce CRM, which makes it possible to collect and access customer data to create personalized com customer experiences, SAP Commerce Cloud and, and Magento, which are commerce connectors that speed up online delivery of blended content and commerce experiences, and Contentful and Dropbox. And with those connectors, Trillion can tap into content management repositories to serve as a central content hub for all your disparate content and enable reuse rather than duplication. Access management centralizes the configuration of authentication across all of Trillion. This allows for a much smoother and safer experience for practitioners because it enables single sign-on and optionally with multi-factor authentication if the configured identity provider supports that. The administration user interface allows you to configure external identity providers such as Auth0, Bing Identity, and Microsoft Azure AD, supported protocols including SAML 2.0, OpenID Connect, Windows Authentication, and LDAP. Trading also keeps an audit trail of changes made to the identity provider settings and user profiles, so you can always see who has changed what and when. To make headless content publishing even easier, Trade Insights 9.5 redefines the way content is published from your content manager to your content delivery environments, as well as how it can be queried from there. New data publishing capabilities allow you to define at the content schema level which fields need to be published to DXD, as well as which ones are searchable. This highly granular control over what data is transferred to DXD adds extra security to your environments. Content is published to DXD in JSON format for easy headless content consumption. The new JSON publishing, which is depicted in green here, runs in parallel with your existing template uh, rendering mechanism to ensure backwards compatibility. With content delivery search, customers no longer need to build and implement their own search solutions for end users. The functionality is optimized for the Trade Insights data model and makes use of Elasticsearch, the world leading and de facto standard search platform. Site search is one of the most used entry points for end users to quickly find the content they were looking for on a website. Effective search means better usability. Conversion is key as customers who find what they're looking for easily are more likely to make a purchase. And now for an overview of customer success stories, I want to introduce you to Greg Gutman. Greg is a principal consultant 
for Trillion, and he's working closely with customers to help them get the most out of our product to make them successful. Greg, over to you. Thanks, Arno, and thank you for taking the time to join us for Connect 2021. Working with customers and prospects in the field, I'm in a unique position of seeing several new trends emerging in the marketplace. Today, I'm going to walk through the stories of three customers that illustrate these four trends. The rise of the marketing technologist, integrated content hubs, JavaScript frameworks, and the Internet of Things. Customer Nationwide came to us last year asking us how to increase its business agility and become more responsive to the marketplace. The primary objective behind the initiative was to reduce the dependency on IT and enable marketing to roll out sites quickly. We noted that several of the people who were interested in the initiative were not traditional IT or content management folks. As with other customers, we found that marketing technologists have grown both in number and in influence. Although they had started to experiment with some other headless vendors, Nationwide became very engaged with Tridian the moment they realized that Tridian can be used as a hybrid content management system, serving both traditional and headless use cases. The agility of Tridian was proven out when Nationwide Marketing rolled out 20 new sites in 25 days, with a decreased reliance on IT. Nationwide also has plans to launch an additional series of websites based off of the Angular framework. Luxury airline Starlux launched in 2020 and recently became a Tridian Sites customer. As an international air carrier, Starlux appreciates our unmatched reputation in the airline industry and the integration of content management systems with translation management systems. In particular, the content hub of the Tridian DXD was of interest. The ability to have a single source of truth for approved translated content resonated with them. A challenge with Starlux is that they have a very small IT team and most of their expertise was, was focused around Vue.js. Starlux appreciates the fact that Tridian is flexible and works with a wide variety of technologies, including all of the latest JavaScript frameworks like React, Angular, and Vue.js. The final customer that I'd like to talk about is Zimmer Biomet. Using Tridian, Zimmer Biomet created both a watch app and a mobile app that would deliver answers, exercise recommendations, and reminders to patients both before and after surgery. Their My Mobility app facilitates a continuous bi-directional communication channel between patient and physician. It is currently being deployed in a major clinical study involving over 10,000 patients. Of particular interest is the fact that Zimmer Biomed is using Tridian as a core part of its product offering and is defining a cutting-edge approach to using content strategically. And now I'm going to hand it back to Arno to talk about the roadmap. Thank you, Greg. Great to hear about our customers who are really getting so much value out of Tridian. Let's continue by having a look at the Tridian roadmap themes. The first theme, Drive Customer Success with AI for Content, covers how Tridian will allow you to increase conversions and drive customer success with content findability scenarios and smart tagging suggestions. In regards to letting end users reach their goals quickly, we will focus on three main features. Dynamic search filters, also known as facets, will allow end users to narrow down on the search results and help them find the content they were looking for more easily. Search suggestions quickly connect search terms the user entered with relevant concepts that the content is classified with to further improve content findability. In this example, the search term is cough, and because that concept is related to leg and limb injuries, those search concepts show up as alternative ideas to search uh, content for. The last one in the list is, the about, is about the ability to show related content when reading an article. The example shows an article about calf pain, while the tips for the next steps in the journey show related content based on relationships of the concepts in the taxonomy. It's important to realize with large content sets that manually creating links on pages is both laborious and error prone. Manually created links will point to stale content quickly. Using properly classified content and the taxonomy relationships between the concepts, we will make sure related content is being kept up to date, for instance, by automatically adding related content when new content is created. But where do you start in making your content easier to find? 
For all of this, it's important to semantically enrich your content with smart taxonomy in order for Trillion to act as the intelligent content platform and future proof, proof your content and get the most out of it. Smart tagging will provide productivity improvements for editors. They can use the smart tagging recommendations to classify content quickly and accurately. This functionality analyzes your content and suggests appropriate taxonomy concepts to tag your content with. It greatly improves the usability and accuracy and reduces time spent on properly classifying content. There's a separate on-demand session available at Connect about semantic AI in Trillium. And this session includes a very comprehensive dem demo of the capabilities we intend to release later this year. I would encourage you to watch that, that to learn more. The theme, Make Authors and Editors More Productive, covers all the extended functionality and user experience pro improvements that we are working on for Trillium sites. You already have seen the smart tagging example, but we are further developing experience space beyond the basic editorial needs, which we released in 9.5 last year. Based on customer feedback, we have added many improvements. For example, quick create interactions for folder and structure group, thumbnail view in the item selector, and also that also includes CCL, the ability for practitioners to open up uh, items in a new tab, and we're also committed to bringing more of the functionality you're relying on in the classic UI to experience space. View on site to quickly preview a page or component on a staging or live site and multi-select support in item select dialogues and more. Accessibility of applications is a hot topic these days and we do see more customers interest in accessibility in relation with uh, Trillion 2. We are therefore working hard to improve the accessibility of our experience space user interface. Since taxonomies are important for our semantic AI capabilities, we will also make sure to get keyword and category editors uh, support in 962. And next to that, we are also adding an editorial search functionality and add bundle support and experience space. Last but not least, we're making the first steps to add translation support in 96. The third theme is about a continuously expanding connector ecosystem. Additional connectors and functionality using Trudy in the integration fr framework um, it's being added for marketing resource management with our Primo MRN connector, uh, digital quality management with site improve to measure and improve uh, search engine optimization, accessibility and content performance, marketing automation with Marketo and Salesforce Marketing Cloud, and online video platform with Brightcroft connector. Taxonomy for pool party taxonomy management, smart tagging, faceted search, and search suggestions. The fourth theme is about covering entitlement uh, tracking. The aim for an updated entitlement capability is to improve the provisioning experience for the customer on the one hand and enable more flexible license models in the future on the other hand. With regards on, to the aspect of provisioning, this will remove the need for manual deployment of licenses. So no need to co copy files to multiple machines manually anymore. This greatly improves the flexibility in deployment as it will support deployment setups with contain containerization. For ultimate flexibility, we're looking at ways to enable customers to scale up and down more on demand. For instance, when a customer experiences peak load during a campaign and needs additional processing capacity, a flexible license model could be a pay-as-you-go uh, model where you don't need to buy licenses for peak load upfront, but only pay for what you use. The key architecture team consists of features that we're doing to be in line with current trends like headless capabilities uh, or the REST API, as well as keeping up to date uh, on our platform support like .NET Core uh, support. With the new data publishing capability, the ability to just publish a component or folder in which the components are stored becomes more important. This will be possible in 9.6, along with the ability to mark a folder as non-publishable. This provides more granular control over large item sets to be published and prevents content that is marked as archived to be accidentally published. Semantic content models were introduced in Trillion Sites 9.5 and was a manual configuration option. The ability to specify what the content represents, an article, a blog, or a product instead uh, of Trillion specific item types uh, as a page or component, and use that in the Graph GraphQL content API to build experiences. Uh, this removes the need for application developers to know Trillion or its domain model. In 9.6, we will expand that capability by automatically mapping schemas defined to content models representing the content in GraphQL API. 
This removes the need for manual configuration and restarting services. And to make this all more usable for application developers, there will be an extended set of root GraphQL queries available. With 9.6, we will have an initial release of the core service REST Open API. This has been a long-standing request in our community IDs as well. This marks the first step towards the standardization of the .NET standard and .NET Core, and will enable us to containerize content manager services in the future. In addition to the web user interface and core service REST Open API that currently supports single sign-on, additional client applications will get support for this too. Event Porter, Template Builder, Feature Workflow Designer, and they will all be supporting SSO as well as the uh, WCF core servers. And in this overview, you can see what we're planning for uh, the release for Trillium 96 in Q4 2021. Connectors will be released out of band of Trillium Sites releases and will be made available throughout the year. Trillium Sites 10 is planned for 2022 and will include targeted content recommendations in relation to the Semantic AI team. For experience space functionality, we're planning for workflow, full translation management functionality, and possibly content modeling and, and in context editing. With regards to the arch architect team, the core service REST Open API full, full feature parity with the classic WCF core service is planned as well. And for entitlement, uh, the agile license models are in, in, uh, in there. This concludes the 3D Insights roadmap session. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you soon.